let's talk about the most important thing that you can have when you go into the woods. It's not your bow. It's not your arrows. It's not how sharp your broadheads are. It's not uh, the great piece of land that you have to hunt. Uh, it's none of that. The most important thing, the absolute most important thing that you can have when you go into the woods to hunt is confidence. Without confidence, you have nothing. Everything that you've prepared for before this hunt means nothing without confidence. And this is what I mean. People that go hunting, um, or that shoot a bow, that go bow hunting, will tell you that archery or bow hunting is 10% physical and 90% mental. And it couldn't be more true because we as archers, we rely on muscle memory when we shoot. I mean, that's why we practice. That's why we get, you know, efficient at shooting our bows. And, you know, we do it all year long because our, our bodies learn what to do. I mean, there's, there's a point in time where, you know, you can close your eyes. And although you may not be shooting a particular target, you're going to still, even if your eyes are closed, you're going to draw your bow back and you're going to do the same thing every time. I mean, that's, that is the basis of accuracy and archery is muscle memory so when we go into the hunt our body knows what to do uh, it's our mind that needs the most work and, it, and and we need to make sure that that we're not uh, thinking bad thoughts when we're getting ready to shoot so, so what happens uh, and I've struggled with this a lot myself uh, is we get a deer in front of us and we pick a tiny little spot you know we obviously we don't we don't shoot at the whole deer because we'll miss you know that's the importance you know with with any kind of archery for sure you know especially like instinctive shooting that you know we pick a very small spot you know it might be a crease in the hair a crease in the muscle or or a little tuft or something hair on it you know we're picking that tiny spot and the idea is all of our uh, focus is concentrated on that one spot and it's kind of like I mentioned about shooting arrows that aren't tuned where the the arrow flies kind of like you know this and if it hits off the side it's not getting good penetration because it needs to have every bit of energy focused directly on that tip of the arrow and the same thing happens with your mind you need to have um, a very straight flying mind because you need all of your attention focused on that tiny spot and when you do that and you are focused on that spot all the way through the shot your body knows what to do it's your mind that's going to deliver the arrow the body's going through the motion but your mind is the thing that's truly going to put the arrow there now what happens when people make a bad shot is they come back to full draw and they pick a spot and right before they release they allow doubt to come into their mind and that is what destroys everything they'll think what if I make a bad shot and it's not important even what they're thinking but typically that's what they think I mean they're not they're not worried they're not pulling the bow back and then they're gonna say well you know what am I gonna have for breakfast tomorrow morning you know nobody cares that's not what we think about it's on our mind but the first thing that happens with people is they say well what if I miss or what if I make a bad shot or what if this deer jumps the string and that lapse in concentration is what causes you to miss your shot because you're no longer concentrating every bit of your mind on that spot that you're trying to hit now you're concentrating on what if I miss and now your body has no idea where it's shooting and you know what comes down to confidence is if you're confident in your own shooting ability then you're not going to think, well, what if I miss? And, you know, I talk about how accurate you need to be in, like, the, another video talks about, you know, how accurate you need to be and talks about, like, a proficiency test about shooting a, a five-inch circle, you know, 10 out of 10 times at a certain yardage. And if, if you're able to do that, you know, say at, at 10 yards, um, you've been able to put 10 out of 10 arrows in a five-inch circle and now you have a live deer standing at 10 yards or 8 yards or even closer, there, there isn't that doubt anymore. You're 100% confident, hey, I know that I can hit that spot. So your mind is a whole lot less likely 
to move on to the what if I make a bad shot because now you're looking at that spot and you're thinking I hit that circle every time and I know I can hit it now you know that you may not hit that spot but you're gonna be really really close and that's the important part of having the confidence and it's not just confidence in your shooting ability it's also confidence in your equipment there's times that people will have arrows that don't fly real good you know or they have one that hits a little bit higher or, or something and what happens is they'll say well I'll um, I'll compensate for that when I shoot if this arrow consistently shoots a little bit high I just know that I need to aim low well, what happens is is that deer standing there you're picking a spot and just as you start to reach full draw you start thinking uh, I hope well what if I what if I let this arrow go and it actually does go low and I was aiming low because it hits high then I'm gonna be so mad at myself or or you know remember this arrow shoots high so you're trying to tell yourself that and now you're focused on this arrow instead of focusing on the point of the deer that needs shot or you know just anything and just in general you have doubts about your own equipment that happens to people sometimes that make their own you know bows and arrows and thing and, it's, and it gives you a great satis sense of satisfaction to kill a deer with your own handmade stuff and I encourage everybody to do it but before you go into the woods make sure you're confident with it I mean that same thing kind of too with buying a bow and then next week taking it hunting I mean you need to to make sure you're confident and if you are confident that your arrows fly straight you're confident that your points are going to penetrate which is really important um, you know because if you're worried that your stone points might be too big uh, maybe they're too tall what if the stone point doesn't kill this deer and it's not again it's not that it's going to make it perform less but it's taking your mind off of the point that you're shooting at now you're thinking about something else instead of what you're supposed to be thinking about which is making the shot and the same thing with with picking your location that you're hunting which you know if the deer come by you did that part but if you're in a big wide open spot and you're doubting that if you think I'm never gonna get this bow pulled back without this deer seeing me and you're worried about it then when that deer is standing in front of you and you're almost a full draw you start to think I gotta release right now because he's gonna see me any minute and now again you're not focused on hitting the spot you're focused on I gotta get this arrow off before the deer sees me so when you go into the woods you have to have confidence in all of these aspects that you know that you're well hit and that the deer is not going to see you you have to be a hundred percent confident that your your bow is going to shoot the way you want to or your arrows are going to fly that the way that they're supposed to that your points are going to penetrate and you have to have confidence that you are able you're physically able to make the shot you just cannot allow any of that doubt in when you allow the doubt in it makes you think somewhere else and that opens up the opportunity for chaos to happen when you're in the woods but if you are a hundred percent focused on that spot when you release the arrow and you don't waver off that then you're gonna get a good hit I mean that's kinda how archery works is we our mind and our body works as one to deliver the arrow and another problem too that some folks will have is they'll pull back and they'll concentrate hard and they've done good and they've got confidence in everything but they get this excitement at the very last second and when they release they immediately want to see the arrow impact and they don't want to be obstructed by their bow or anything um, and they're worried too that well the deer is going to run off and I gotta watch where it goes that deer is not going anywhere fast enough that you can't react to it you know it's not like it's going to disappear so what happens is though people pull back they pick a spot and they release and as soon as they release they've jerked the bow down and they're looking for where their shot hit and trying to watch the deer they want to know did I make a good shot you know where which direction is the deer going they want to know all these things immediately and what they did was just as they released they drew, started to drop because they they're already envisioning the kill before they've ever even delivered the arrow it's the same thing too when people you hear stories about people shooting bucks in the antlers because they're looking where they need to do and then all of a sudden they're looking at how big it is and they're envisioning it on the wall and next thing you know they're shooting it in the antlers because they're not focusing on the spot the well, same thing people freak out thinking well what if I don't make a good shot or you know something and they want to see it so as soon as they let go they've already started to drop the bow before they ever let go 
and that arrow goes low right into the ground right underneath it and then they think well how did i miss i was on it i was i was looking at it you know and it's that confidence you have to have confidence that you're gonna make a good shot so when you do let go just know that i'm not moving my arm until i see the arrow hit i'm gonna watch the arrow hit while holding my bow up and looking at it and that's that's all there is to it and so if you've got confidence that you're going to make a shot you're not going to be going like this trying to to look at it you know so all these things kind of work together so you have to have confidence in all aspects because if there's any doubt that you're going to miss that deer you're probably going to miss it or make a bad shot so make sure before you go into the woods that you have total confidence in your gear in your shooting and have your mind under control so when that deer is standing there you can calm yourself down and make the shot. One thing that I personally do that helps me calm down because, you know, it doesn't matter how many deer I shoot, I still get excited and that's what makes it fun. So, but you have to be able to control that emotion. When I have a deer coming in and it's almost in the range I, and they come, you know, to a stop or they're walking real slow at a close range, I tell myself, relax, pick a spot, and make the shot and that tells me that relax take a deep breath pick a tiny little shot and make the shot put the arrow in there we can count the points when it's dead we can cut the meat up and weigh the meat when it's dead we can go take pictures when it's dead wait until the, the arrow is in the deer or through it before you do any reaction make the shot and have confidence that you can make the shot